where does the contract conversation with Matt Ryan stand right now between you and uh, and his side? Yeah, you know what we are uh, we are uh, we're talking, and and of course it's uh, it's not hot and heated at all. I mean, it's 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 in a it's in a uh, a little bit of a, a slow pace right now, and uh, you know we're we're not in any major rush. We feel confident that this a is not a very complicated situation, uh, albeit you know significant as you can imagine. Um, but we feel like you know Matt wants to be at our place, and we we want him to be here for years to come, and. We all have really good working relationships. We do not only with with Matt, of course, but you know with Tom Con, and we've done a number of deals with them. So um, we're confident that that this will be accomplished in the right way in the relatively near future. Well, I mean, isn't there some a bit of a clock, Thomas? So somebody who, let's say, has way fewer playoff wins than Matt Ryan sets a market at a newer level, <laughs> and I, I, I'm I'm being I'm being serious. I mean. Isn't there? And that's why I laugh. It's an uncomfortable laugh because uh, yes, that's exactly right. I mean, I think yes, there is an element of that, but I think the reality also is, um, you know, if 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 uh, you know Matt and and his representation want to, uh, you know, wait and see what plays out over the next few weeks, um, obviously we can't force that, of course. So. Um, you know we're 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 standing by and they're standing by to uh, make decisions in in the, again hopefully in the relatively near future. And do general managers send each other's texts? Like, did you send something to John Lynch saying, "What are you doing, brother? Come on now," something like that? Like, well, come on, what or anything like that? I, I think that would world? be. I don't even know that that seems like collusion, but I'm not even sure if it is. <laughs> but I will say to your point. Yes. There's probably a lot of. Um, Gosh, how do you even say that on on? Uh, I don't want to say the wrong word, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, butt busting on the whole thing, or whatever I'm trying to say, right? Yes. There's, there, there's a, always a little bit of uh, kibitzing. God, that's an old fashioned word, isn't it? It's a great word. word it's a great word. Tom, if, look, uh, I'll, as the Jew uh, here in Los Angeles, it's a good use of the kibitzing. <laughs> good job. That was good. But I, I will say, there's always a little bit of joking around about it because, look, you know, uh, you know, there, there's a guy who um, is a you know, very adept quarterback out in San Francisco who is, how many games has he played? Six games. Yep, he hasn't lost any of them. Seven. He's played yeah. seven. Yeah. Let's not seven. short him one. But. He's, he's done a heck of a job, and uh, and I think his numbers were significant. So, uh, you know, that's that's uh, that. That's an interesting uh, and, and can complicate things, of course. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.